Hello everybody, welcome to my uh, tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create this kind of automatic uh, table of contents in InDesign. You can create something like this or you can also uh, change into like this. So you're going to learn how to do that. Happy watching. First, let's create new document. Number of pages I will use eight. Click OK. So here we are having eight blank pages. Uh, okay, this will be the page for table of contents. But before we create a content, I mean create a table of contents, we have to create the content first. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, now let's put. Page number first, let's go to page and click A master twice. Click type tool and create a box and right click special character markers and current page number. So this will be the page number. Let's make it smaller. Okay, and go lower lower a bit. Hold shift and press the arrow down to put it maybe more on the left okay let's do the same on here on the right side create type tool uh, sorry right click insert special characters markers and current page number and do the same settings 8 in size right justify and hold shift and press down and right. I want to be the same position with its left pages. Page. Okay, now I think it's good. Let's go back to the actual page. Now you see the page number. Okay, now let's create the content. Let's say uh, we create headline. And there's 14 for the size. I want to actually this a bit expanded. More space. Sorry, what am I clicking? It's not right. Go to type and character. Yeah, this is more extended. I mean expanded. Okay, that's good. Now let's create title. Well, we're going to use a placeholder text. Okay, suppose this will be the title. I don't know what's the meaning. This, we are just using this for practice. Make it bigger. Too big a thing, but I think it's fine. And choose. Uh, I want to choose another font. I use Fira Sans by Firefox. Yeah, not bad. I think it's too big. I want a little bit smaller. Oops, too small. Okay, that's fine. Now for the body of the text, we are going to use placeholder text again. Alright. I want to make smaller. Right. And I want some space for each paragraph. So I'll go here, press 3. And, oh yeah. Let's give it column. Go 3. So that will be 3 columns. Like this widow, I don't know, it's a final widow. Well, anyway, this will be the first paragraph, I mean, the first article. So now let's define the paragraph style. Let's go to window, styles, paragraph styles. So we have an empty paragraph style. Uh, let's create one by one for the headline. I will create paragraph style name section. So 
this will be based on this uh, style and I want to create a paragraph style based on this title I'll create new and I made title and okay the body too sorry misclick it I give it the name body okay this is very important part in creating automatic uh, table of contents later I'll explain later now next let's create the rest of the page the rest uh, layout so uh, I'm going to do uh, some quick layout designing okay let's do it I will go with story for this section and I want to create another title with placeholder okay I will take only one word and give it title style and for the content I think okay just copy this <laughs> and next page let's create another page Sorry, the object text option three column and title. Let's just placeholder a guide and we need section. I don't know what's the name. Story is a uh, interview, for example. I think it's good now. And then next page, let's just use this content, this different name for the title. What's baby? Uh, so I'm just using copy for this. I name it. Uh, Let's say review. I don't know. We're going to just for practice, for example, and create another body and give it column. I will go to column now. Yeah, and then give a title. And I don't know name for this section. Let's say focus. It's too short for focus, but anyway, it's fine. <laughs> it's just an example. And next. Let's say this is two page for focus. Mm, I want to add more. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit cheat, so it's fine. And this last page, thanks for the magazine. The last page, there is no article. It's usually for ads, but this is just for example. Let's just go fine with that. Put a title. Let's say it's lifestyle section. Okay, all pages has been filled with text. Now let's create. Finally, let's create table of content okay now this is the uh, main part where you can now create table of contents uh, let's go to layout table of contents uh, I need to remove this first okay now let's define 
the title uh, I will find with contents the name the table of contents is contents but now give it style I want to create a new style for this so title table of content mm. Vera Sans, fine. I give it big size 36. And I want to give space after the paragraph. Uh, maybe 20. No, no, I think it's too much. 10 millimeters. Okay, well, you can add, I mean, adjust it later. We just do an initial part for that. And now let's, this is the important. This is where you can include what is what is will be included in uh, in table of contents. Let's add section like head headline, uh, interview, review, other. So this is the section, and I also want the title. Mm, actually, I want the title in the same level with this section. Okay, now let's uh, give it style uh, for the section in table of contents. The section table of content. Fira uh, Sans, I will go with bold and a little bit bigger. I think it's good. Okay. And for the title, let's define the style too. Mm. Title, table of content. I think it's already used by this. Okay, be title of, title in table of content. <laughs> okay, and use a uh, bit smaller font so I'll go with 12 yeah I think it's fine 12 yeah, 10 <laughs> and I want add space after the paragraph uh, 4 maybe well you can adjust this later let's just ok and now page number after entry this is a little bit confusing if you don't see it yet so let's just skip it and for the section I forgot I want to disable the page number well you will don't know how does it look before you click OK and there you go click on it so now you have a simple uh, table of content not bad but as you can see the what is it? The page number is too close with the text. So we'll adjust that. So this is belong to the title. This is the section. This is the title of the table of contents. So if you want to adjust this, simply you go to the paragraph style of it. So it belongs to title in table of contents. So simply go there. Edit table of content. If you want to see how the change of, uh, make sure you activate this preview. Well, this one belongs to indent and spacing. If you want to see it, um, no, actually it's tabs. Sorry. So if you want the the number is a bit farther here, you simply press here and just click somewhere here yeah you can see you can drag even further maybe one there or there so now you can see all the page number is dragged farther now if you want to add a lead like a dot simply add a dot here by input the dot from your keyboard and press tab 
There you go. It looks cool. There it is. So that's a simple table of contents. If you want to customize, you don't need to go back here, except you want to change something drastic. But if you want to change the style of this, you simply go to paragraph style and change each of it. For example, you want, uh, mm, I don't know, you want to change the looks of the section in table of contents. Maybe you are not satisfied with the fonts, you can change here. Maybe you don't want Fira. Instead, you want to change to uh, Million Pro and press Tab, not Enter. Because if you press Enter, you go to OK. If you press Tab, you go to the next. Okay. Or if you want to disable this uh, lead, you can go back to Title. I mean, Title in table of contents and go to tabs and change the lead where you want to change another kind of leads like uh, this one or even you can use letters if you want <laughs> it looks ugly of course it's really up to you well what if you want to change the position of the page of the page number here. Maybe you want the page number in the front of this. Okay, that's that's not hard to do. But you need to change over here. You need to uh, change table of contents. Um, now uh, you want to go to a title and page number is before entry. Of course, you can see that there's no preview box here. Mm. You can initially put a style for it as page number, as a table of content. Oh, okay, I think it's fine. Yeah, well, you can you can change later in the uh, character style panel. So leave it as as it is. And yes, I think it's fine. Now it's okay. Now it's it's been updated. So now the page number it's in the front. But maybe you want also to delete these dots, so it belongs to table title in type of content. So go there, back to the tabs, and delete this one by pressing and holding up. So it's gone. And now, maybe you want this a section to be in the same level with this uh, title. So you simply go to section, table of contents, edit it, and go to tabs. And now you need to drag. Sorry, um, I need to drag the actually go to indent and spacing for easier settings uh, go to left indents and add adjust it so there you go you can see that there you go now you have a different style for the table of contents. Alright, that's it for the table of contents tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any difficulties following this tutorial, you can send me an email or a comment in the box. I'll be happy to uh, give feedbacks. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.